What's going on, Empire Amp Nation? Hashtag Amp Nation in the comments. Today, we're confronting the dark side of the podcast, okay? But anyway, this is about Amp Token, and it says confronting, but I'm basically going over five points. You want to make sure you watch this to the end because you want to see what the last one is. These are awesome points that will show you how to be a better investor and a more logical thinker when you're dealing with AMP, okay? Because a lot of people treat this like a hype coin, which it is not. This is why I like this guy right here. I love this podcast right here, okay? So it's called AMP Token. It's not time yet, okay? And the reason why this video is being made because every time something hits the news with one of these cryptos, everybody goes crazy and think that's the time. But AMP doesn't work the way the other cryptos work, okay? So keep watching, all right? So the first point, we'll say number five, the number five point is all of the information we have AMP on AMP and the cryptos right now is educated guesses and speculation. And that's true because a lot of the stuff that we uh, think is going to happen, most of the time it ends up never happening. OK, like we'll see tweets about things or we'll see a press release, which can be bought on Fiverr. I can show you right now. You can go over there and buy a fake news press release right now and it'll pop up talking about Amazon is going to do it. Whether or not Amazon is doing it or not is hard to know. Well, Amazon actually answered. So, yeah, they were actually thinking about it. OK, but anyway, number two point, the number two point is the success of AMP is tied to Flexa and their partnerships. And most of those partnerships aren't implemented yet, okay? So a lot of the things going on with AMP, they're doing so many joint ventures and partnerships, then they're doing so much promotion and stuff, trying to get this out. It's gonna take some time to actually put it together. So you're looking at AMP as a long-term investment. I told you guys, this is not some quick flip type token. If you want that, go back to Dogecoin or go somewhere fancy or floppy or something like that. Oh, Elon Musk tweet. Look at, look look for one of those to get your currencies because AMP isn't one of those. This is a long-term real token that can be something really uh, changing the world. Okay. Now, so the number three point right here, watch this, watch, look. Okay. Hey, look. <laughs> AMP has a partnership with Sheets, the convenience store, but it's not big enough yet, okay? So you're gonna need huge transactions in order to um, you know, catch the attention of investors everywhere. Like a lot of this stuff is in play, but a lot of AMP, even AMP holders don't use it themselves. You know what I'm saying? So like the, the problem is we don't really even use these. We buy and we hold, but we, we haven't been using it. AMP is a usage coin, okay? Now, we got number four. Watch this. Number four, super important, okay? Look, he emphasizes the point that Flexa only wants to focus on North America. He had them on the podcast for an interview, which I'm trying to do right now, matter of fact. <laughs> all right, so he had them on a podcast for an interview, and they said they want to focus all their efforts on North America. And that doesn't make sense because shoot, even I haven't bought anything with flex of payments or, 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 or with any cryptocurrency. Like a lot of people are trading, swapping and doing all of that in the U.S., but nobody's really buying anything. And if you do on a rare occasion, you might use Bitcoin on a rare occasion. But what have you really bought for real? Think about it. Like, what have you really bought for your house? What decorations? What refrigerators? What cars? What have you really bought with your crypto yet? Okay. So the thing is, AMP is tied to Flexa. Flexa, AMP is a usage coin. So, so you have to use it in order for it to grow. If you read the white paper, remember I did a video reviewing a white paper. It needs more implementation. It needs more holders to actually start pumping it it's themselves. I told you guys to hit the streets, hit the streets, go into these stores and start telling people, uh, start telling these business owners to accept Flexa here, accept AMP, accept these cryptos right now. You know what I'm saying? It needs more use cases, okay? So literally, when, when actual stores are accepting this, that's when we can expect this to blow up. And yes, we have stores accepting uh, flex of payments and stuff, but the holders, you guys, us, we're not really using it, but the foreigners do. So when, um, when uh, Flexa came on the podcast and told him 
that they're only focusing on North America right now, it sounds like a huge mistake because nobody in America really uses their crypto. They just trade and sell it, buy, buy low, sell high, and do all that extra stuff. Like they're, they're not offline with it. They're not looking at it like it's supposed to be a real dollar replacement like it is. It's supposed to be, but people aren't paying attention to that. So, you know, it's, it's making it difficult. It, it has to be publicized that AMP needs to be used. It can't just be bought, sold, and hold, and, and all of that extra, them games that people are playing, playing with crypto, and it frustrates me and pisses me off. These are supposed to be replacements for the dollar. It's not just supposed to be some quick flip, ooh, let me go look on, on the daily chart today, ooh, I'm about to buy the dip. Oh, what are you gonna do after you buy the dip when you make that money or, or something like that, you're still using a dollar. You're still using a US dollar or whatever your uh, current currency is. You're supposed to be using these coins. If you really want to replace it, if you really want them to be a staple in a new society, cashless society, everybody talks about, if you want it to be crypto instead of some, well, government is going to get in this anyway soon. But anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. If you want it to be crypto, then you got to start using the crypto to buy things. All right. <laughs> You gotta actually go in these stores. If you're a woman going Forever 21, if you're a man going freaking AutoZone and say, I wanna put these rims on my car, but I'm only gonna pay with AMP. You know what I'm saying? Come on, you gotta do that type of stuff in order to pump this. It's not a hype coin, all right? So let's go to the last number one most important point. Ah, man, like I just love when people agree with me. Okay, he said, then he, I said, then he slam dunks it with the point that I always try to make to you guys. He says, more promotion won't make AMP successful. More listings with different companies and businesses and all of that won't make it successful until it's more use cases. It's, 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 it's a two-sided relationship. Every relationship requires two sides, right? So even though they're listing with Nordstrom, GameStop, and all of that stuff, you guys have to go in these stores and start using your AMP tokens to purchase things. <laughs> you got to start using AMP tokens. Right now, it kind of holds no weight and everything is in a prediction ahead of time. And, you know, it, it's just speculation, like we said in the first point. Y'all understand? So this is what I got from this video. I love, I love this podcast right here. This dude is awesome, man. Uh, realistic like me, uh, honest like me, you know, about the army, the amp nation, you know what I'm saying? But hey, keep it real, you know, whether you're investing in it, it or unless you're in, whether you're an investor or not, it, it doesn't mean start clouding your judgment and being so idolized uh, um, that, that you can't see common sense. You know what I'm saying? Like you, that's how people lose their money. That's how when you're at the casino and you just know you lose and you're like, nah, one more time. I was close last time. You know, you should stop. You know, you should stop. Right. <laughs> All right. So with this man, you, you, you got to get out in the streets. This is not one of those tokens where if you just sit back, Oh, my investment, maybe in some years or something, but if you want to speed that up, yeah, I got to get out in the streets, man start helping the army, all right? So I just wanted to bring that one to y'all today. This one is pretty decent video right here and I like it. So run it up, run it up, tweet this out, tweet this out to the AMP Nation, uh, open up Facebook groups, all the crypto groups and just share that, share that, okay? And if you're new to the channel, do a Jet Li sidekick to the like button and a broken leg, Conor McGregor style to the subscription button. Now we're gonna take that back. We wanna do a Bruce Lee sidekick without the YI style to the uh, subscription button. When a bell pops up, it's not a dinner bell. It's not the end of a fight round. And it's not a drill or a school out. It's letting you know I just uploaded or went live and you don't want to miss a thing. Aerosmith.